interestingly enough, it turns out that if what you're diagnosed with is what they're calling long COVID brain fog, yes, you can just stick it on your head. And there's one particular setting that you can use to treat the brain fog. How the interesting. Paper, the paper describing that process just came out about two weeks ago. So now people can use the standard model neuradient yeah. that doesn't for quadrant control. If they if what they're dealing with is long COVID hmm. brain fog, wow. they can and they can get the standard model yep. and use it for 14 minutes. Yep. Three Fantastic. Three times a week for 14 minutes. That's that's very doable for people. You can watch TV or you can um you can be eating dinner and wear it. Yeah. Okay. That's easy. <laughs> Maybe not sitting in the bath though, but <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> No, but but you you can you can do it and do but and work on the laptop whatever yeah fourteen minutes three times a week not twice a day yeah yeah three times a week no that's very doable yeah so what they showed in the paper was that the people who did that treatment or the people who did the um, the the light pod the bed that you can lie down in. Either one of those interventions, both completely cleared people of the brain fog in one month. So what What that, you know, and now, I mean, the results for the light bed were a little, a little bit better in some ways and not as good in other ways as the helmet. All right. Well, okay. But, but everybody got better like better. Yeah, but when you say light bed, is this the really, is it a very expensive light bed? Oh, no, it's only $115,000. Only $115,000, okay. So I thought I thought it was only about $10,000 or $20,000, but okay, $115,000, okay. <laughs> I thought that, I, I thought it was out of everyone's league. You can't, I, like, yeah. If you're, if you're in the NFL yeah. or major, baseball yeah, you or yeah. boxer or you're a movie star then it's no big sure. deal sure yeah okay i understand the helmets a lot more in people's normal people's price range <laughs> yeah. 29.95 shipping included yeah i know it's great it is it is genuinely good so one of the things about long covid that and that was you raised before about the intranasal yeah, yes, yeah. We're, we, the we, Quiet Mind is currently conducting a kind of open label, uncontrolled study yep. of 1070 intranasal. Right. I see. Yep. A standalone device. Yep. That we made that will deliver 1070 light to the nasal cavity to treat long covid that's the that's the the thought wow and are you looking for volunteers for that now or is the trial uh, yeah what we're doing is having clinicians who we're working with they're able to buy the devices because you know we don't have a funding for it so we we got them for like 250 dollars each okay great so people who are interested in exploring um, the use of 1070 yeah. can at least start with something like that if, if they have COVID or have had COVID. Because what we're seeing more and more is people who have had COVID, regardless of the severity of their symptoms, yeah. tend to... 10 to 30% of the people who've had COVID yeah. are going to develop neurological challenges. That's really frightening. I, I have had COVID. I got COVID. So I've had it twice. So, oh, nice. And 
I know that it can be very disruptive. Mm, yeah. Wow. So, so where, where can you get this device from? So you can... Quiet Mind website. You can get it from the Quiet Mind website. All right, well, I'll link to that too. Oh, that's great. That's really interesting. So you, you'll be wanting to hear back from people that have used this then to... And, and getting clinicians who are yep. working with COVID yep. <clears throat> to do pre QEEGs and some testing yep. like respiratory testing, pulse oxygenation, breaths per minute, things like that. Yeah. And then, and then after two or three months to then do the testing again, because it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's not something that I know any, I can't say one way or the other. Yeah. But now that we know that the continue, now that we know that the continuous stimulation. Yes. Whoa. That's all right. You're still there. <laughs> now, that we know, now that we know the continuous stimulation can significantly affect co long COVID yeah. when it's directed to the brain on the head. Yep. We also know that there's another pathway through intranasal. Yes, we do. And a lot of young people have suffered from COVID. And and so if you just buy the device that de delivers the 1070 into your nose, that's a lot more affordable than buying the whole helmet too if, if you're treating long COVID. The thing the thing is that, you know, I can't I can't possibly say that one is going to be the same as the other. That that's Yeah, uh, you don't know. What's, yeah. what's the right word? Uh stupid. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Look, it's but, worth it. Yeah, but we can say, you know, this was useful transcranially. This is the same thing, and it can be delivered intranasally. Mm. What we're in eventually is, should we be putting these two things together? Yeah, sure, as well, yeah, yeah, to see if it's even more powerful delivery. So even if I hadn't had long COVID, and I'm looking at um, red light therapy and infrared light therapy just for brain health, so that's another market where people in their in their prime or even you know 30s 40s busy working just want to really improve that or maximize sure. their what they've got sure. would the intranasal yep. delivery have some effect there it's it's entirely it's entirely possible yeah. and again, that we would have to really look at hmm. in a real rigorous way we're yeah. just beginning that now because of the long covid study yeah. Now this is that so that's a di that's a little bit of a divergent because mm. the people who really have memory issues mm. uh, that are not as a result of COVID mm. and, or traumatic brain injury or as you said autistic spectrum those are the people who are going to read really need longer term use and yes. they're going to need a consultation with a clinician. Yes, they and will. That's, yeah, that's why neuronic developed a group of clinicians and is continuing to develop a group of clinicians all over the world. Hong Kong, South Africa, US, Canada, Mexico, uh, U Europe, UK, I mean, all, all around. That's um, absolutely fantastic. So that people can consult with these clinicians mm -hmm. about how to actually use the helmet and the neurofeedback to their best effect. Yeah, yeah. And that sounds really, really key.